my uh, entrepreneurial instincts are more about the development of fundamentally new technologies. People who speak with certainty about how powerful these machines will be in the future are uh, delusional. There are problems that you can run that a conventional laptop can do a thousand times faster than our thing. There are problems you can run that our thing is a thousand times faster than the fastest processor that we know of. Uh, you, the fact that you can build one or two qubits means absolutely nothing. Because when you go from one or two to 100 or 200, the number of problems you need to solve in terms of actually fundamentally being able to build the thing in a way that works, they grow in, by leaps and bounds, orders of magnitude. So the number one biggest problem in building a commodity technology using quantum computers is the inavailability of fab. These types of projects that we're talking about, you can't even begin to attempt them without, say, $100 million. It's, it's, the, it's the price of the entry fee to even try. If you don't have that much capital and the wherewithal to manage it and invest it uh, wisely and efficiently, don't even try to tell me you're trying to do this because it's ludicrous. You need to have the world's best people working on it. Uh, if you can't do that, you failed as a leader. How you deal with this kind of difference is a new emerging field of science because there's never been a machine like this ever in the history of humanity. Ultimately, what I believe is that the... Uh, great, great, great grandchildren of the things that we're building now will end up being as big an industry as the current computing industry. If you guys enjoyed this show, you can help me make it better in a couple of ways. You can go and write a review on iTunes, you can leave a comment on YouTube, or you can simply make a donation.